Over here in ByteDance, you can expect to go through three to five coding rounds. During these coding rounds, you can expect to do it on HackerRank or our very own Luck Programming too. During the live coding round, you'll be expected to solve one to two problems given by the hiring managers. During this round, this question would span across data structures and algorithm, databases, networking, operating system, while considering the time and space complexity. During this round, you can expect to use a programming language that you're most proficient in, and you'll be accessed through this question on your thought process, problem-solving skills, as well as your technical capabilities. During the HR round, we want to get to know you better via your motivations, achievements, as well as any experiences that tells your personal stories. This will allow us to assess your culture fit to the company. My interview with Biden's back then was very smooth and it was well organized. I got plenty of time between each of the rounds so that I can uh, be well prepared. In Biden's different team has different requirement, but coding is the basic skill we need for each of the teams. We normally suggest for lead code. Lead code has a lot of problems. And normally, uh, our candidates can spend on lead code medium and hard coding problems. And on the other side, different team has a specific requirement. Like for me, it was on the AI lab. So I spend a lot of time on the AI models and AI basic knowledges. As a candidate, I always need to communicate with the interviewer, like how I'm thinking. I think that is the most important thing. The interview should be two ways, so that the uh, interviewer can understand what you are thinking to solve that problem. Most of the coding questions was related to uh, graphs. There is a concept called dynamic programming. In the graph algorithm, uh, one question was related to topological sort. First of all, I think being an inquisitive person, right, this attribute is going to help you to find out more about technologies and that will help you to advance yourself and keep on learning. Being a meticulous person, right, you'll be able to find the details drilled into it and find discrepancies within the solutions, within the code itself. Being humble is very important because we need to know our weaknesses and we borrow the strengths from others. And that brings me to the part about collaboration, right? Being a collaborative person because we do not exist alone, we are in a team. And how we can work together with our teammates will be able to achieve more than what it is. And lastly, being a lazy software engineer is very important because if you are lazy, you're going to find ways that you do not repeat the work that you are doing. You'll be able to automate, you'll be able to find things to improve so that you don't have to repeat the work that you are doing. is easy as A, B, C, right? A, like what I mentioned, is to ask questions. B is to be honest and be prepared. C is to communicate often because it's more of a conversation than the interviewers just asking you questions.